Hi guys, Ryu here, and this vid is going to be a bit different. Let me talk to you about success and achieving something, because that's really important. Now, how to make money in 3D, it's actually a question of how to succeed in life, or anything that you do. It doesn't matter if it's 3D, um, sports, marketing, whatever the hell you're doing, it's the same thing. So the way to make money in 3D or anything really is to forget that you're in it for the money. If you're doing it for the money, you're doing something that it's not for you. Unless you materialistically driven, which means, you know, you're, you're a piece of shit. But that's how you succeed. And let me explain. First of all, you need to do what you really like. If you don't, then you need to keep looking. And how to find things that you like. Well, you try them through life. So people get discouraged, you know, because they tried and failed. You do not fail, or you did not fail. You just found another way of how it's not done. Or what it's not for you. So do not look, you know, do not look for awards for whatever you've done. Either because, you know, or approvals. Because that's a weakness, right? Look for new goals the moment you reach the previous one. So when you set yourself a goal and you reached it, you need to start searching for new one. Don't look for approvals, pats on your back. It's pointless, right? You know you've done well because you achieved your goal. So what the hell you need others to tell you that for? That's a weakness. Find a card, find something to push, a problem. A challenge, right? A scary one, preferably. And start pushing it and push harder. And when you get to the max speed and it's getting light and easy, find a heavier cart. Put more shit in it. It's like going to a gym. It, you put plates a little bit more and a little bit more every time because your muscles get used to it. Once you get used to it, you stop evolving. Never stop evolving. If your goals seem impossible, they're not big enough. It's plain and simple, they're just not big enough. If you're not sure that you can do it, if, if something is really scary, then it becomes fun. And if it's not fun, you need to rewire your brain to think that way. Scary is fun. Tough is fun. Yeah? Because what's easy, that's boring. You need to get out of your comfort zone, okay? I don't know, move to another country, do things that scare the shit out of you, you know? Uh, but things that you still want to do. So you need to want to do them, but they're kind of scary. Do them. Because that's how you grow. That's how you grow a thick skin. That's how you put the layers of character on, on, on yourself, right? So learn, learn things that you don't understand or struggle with. I, I give you an example, right? I give you an example. I, I When I was studying Japanese calligraphy, right? I was studying under a grandmaster in Tokyo, and I remember a scene where when you write your calligraphy work, you need to sign it. And what you do is, uh, when you write with a large brush, you use the same large brush to create a signature, which are usually very small characters. It's not difficult. It's not easy. It's a difficult task to do. And one of the one of the people over there, she was actually a shihan, which means a master, and my my teacher was actually teaching masters and she said that you know my hands shakes when i'm signing with a big brush because my teacher said why do you sign your work with a different brush you should use the same one and she said because my hand shakes he said something remarkable he said it's not your hand that shakes it's your mind train your mind and your hands will stop shaking you've got to train your mind to fucking listen, to get used to it, and that's the key of actually succeeding, right, in anything. Don't hide behind fences of excuses, okay? Don't get behind these. Comfort is evil. You you know, I can't do it, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too fat, I'm too white. What kind of fucking shit is this, right? What are you doing? Who, who is it for? The audience? There is, there is no one there, it's only you, right? You're in it alone. There are no friends. 
no help, no support, no encouragement, no understanding. You are alone. And the key of finding strength and succeeding is to be able to do it alone. Of course, you do need people to create some larger, you know, larger things in life. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that you need to do everything alone. What I'm saying is you need to be capable of doing things alone and not relying on other people because that's a weakness, right? So don't look for excuses. Don't talk about what you do. You waste your energy, okay? Like, you know, people post all this garbage on social media. It's a fucking waste of life, okay? Just do it. Focus on doing things, right? The only reason I'm running social media is because of the of the business side. I, I have no personal social media because I just don't care, right? I don't give a I don't give a toss about what people think uh, about me because I do what I do, and if someone likes it, great. If someone don't, I don't care. It's not their life; it's mine. I'm not doing this to please others. I'm doing it because I want to do it, and it doesn't mean that what you do cannot make others happy. That's great, but that's not the goal. It's like the goal of succeeding is not making money. The goal of success is for you to be stronger and get to your goal. Know what you want in life. That's a success, all right? And the money will come with it, naturally. Just like people and true friends. Because if you're weak, you attract weak people. If you're strong, weak is going to chip. They're just going to get scared. Because they look for approval for support, for a pat in the back. So, so social media is a pit, okay? It just drains the time, energy. It's pointless. Like, it's like drinking, okay? I never understood why people get drunk, all right? Why would you want to pay for your own fucking headache? What is the logic in here? You lose two days at best, okay? Because you, you lose one day to talking to retards on the party. People who are just there talking shit. Or party clowns who want to just drain it, you know, uh, draw attention, and then you lose another one for recovering uh, from the hangover, right? I've never been drunk in my life, even once. I enjoy a glass of wine, but that's about it. Now the worst case scenario is that you, you're gonna, you know, get drunk, hook up with some chick, have a chavy, and you're fucked for life because you're stuck with a kid and a person you just don't know anything about, a stranger. How can you do anything like that? You can't. Social life makes you weak. We are stronger in groups because as humans we are social creatures, right? There's an acceptance, tolerance. Fuck these. Go against it. Go solo. Go against everything. If it doesn't kill you, it only make you stronger, right? There is power in loneliness because you can depend only on yourself. So learn to live that way. Your only friend is your spine and make it savage. That doesn't mean that you should disregard people, don't help the weak ones or, or you know, less fortunate ones. No, that's not a, not a weakness, that's a, that's a strength if you want to help them. But what I'm saying is that you should be relying on yourself, not on other people. That's a weakness. You can trust people, that's a different story. Don't mix those two, okay? If I see a wall on my way, yeah, I want to walk through it, leave it in the dust, right? I don't walk around it, it's a waste of time. Much shorter and quicker is to go through it. And once I go through it, my skin gets thicker, I'm looking for a bigger wall. The key to getting shit done is searching for obstacles, because that is what makes you grow. Problems, solving problems, that's where you grow. Not doing stuff that you used to. That's just stagnant. Like learning languages, you know, it's like rowing up the stream. If you stop rowing, you've been pushed backwards very quickly, right? I've learned like five languages in my life. And I can't remember French and Russian anymore, you know. I can only speak English and Japanese now. Because I just don't use them. So, you know, you regress. But then you make room in your brain for other things. But learning is the key. Keep fucking learning, studying all the time. That is how your mind gets in shape, okay? The only thing in your head should be your goal. After you reach that goal, 
there should be already a new one in the, in the horizon, right? That's your reward. Do not look for gratitude, uh, pats on the back, um, you know, applause. That's a waste of time and also makes you weak. Your reward is a tougher and st steeper hill to, you know, for the car to go up. See what I mean? Your, your reward is a tougher future. That's your reward. Because you advance to a new level. It is tough, right? But I know that other people struggle too, so, you know, I'm going to be a right philosophy, right? That's a weakness too. Fuck others, okay? Fuck what they go through. You can help them, but don't focus on, on it that way, that, you know, oh, because they struggle, you know, I struggle, it's all right. That's a weakness, okay? You are on a lonely planet of fucking do it. So get on with this shit because no one will el no one else will do it for you. Imagine that what you do, every second of what you do is like a one breath. If you stop doing it, you will suffocate. So what, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Once you remove others from the equation, shits get real. There are no friends, no gods, no nothing. There's nothing bigger than you that can help you. The only thing bigger than you is a fucking goal. So get it done, right? There's just you and a destination. There's nothing else between it. And if there is something standing between it, crush it. Don't destroy people because that's not the way you should be going about it because that creates bad energy. Help people. Helping people is great because it makes you grow. Teaching is learning, right? But what I'm saying is there is something staying in your way and you know, between you and the goal, go through it like a tank, right? Do not get comfortable. Comfort is weak. Get used to pain. Hard work is pushing the cart, yeah? When I was training martial arts, I was training Karate Kyokushin, and I remember we were training um, in dojo, but I was also training with the guys in the forest all year round. Snow, sleet, doesn't matter, right? And trust me, Northern Northern Europe, it gets pretty tough. And I remember one day we were um, training, it was winter, I was you know, kicking trees just to sh uh, toughen your shins, and I broke my, uh, my toe, my big toe, just snapped, yeah? Do you think I stopped training? Fuck no. It took me uh, three months to, or four months to heal it because I was training with a broken toe. I know it's broken because it's crooked. It just grew back. But it's crooked, right? That's a reminder. I cannot even bend it. It took me half an hour to 40 minutes every day to warm up to kill the pain before I started to train, okay? I didn't know how to stop. I would feel guilty if I stopped. As if I betrayed myself. See what I mean? That kind of mentality gets shit done. Do you know how long it took me to, to get to where I am in 3D? I started in June 2019. Not Blender. I started 3D in June 2019. That's about a year. Let it sink in. And do you think I think that's great? No. I think it could be done shorter, faster. And that's my next goal. Get to my next goal faster. I don't focus on what I've achieved. I focus on how much time I have left for the things I want to do. That's how you should think. Because the moment you start thinking about, oh shit, we did great. That's when you live on stuff that is in the past. That's in the past, okay? You, you, you can reward yourself, that's fine. You can take a break, but you need to keep walking in a deep snow. Because that's how your muscles get stronger. If you go back, you know, in the path you already carved into the snow, it's, it's nothing, you know, that's comfort. I do not stop. I do not quit. I do not have a switch off button, okay? Once you do not know how to quit, you're ready for anything. Only few people will understand or accept the way you are. Good. It's perfect. Select few ones is better than the useless many. If they can't survive your pace, so be it. They tried. 
Don't despise them for it because they're weak. Just move on. You, you don't have time for it, remember? You are on the path to the goal. Now, the people who you meet on the way and are worth your attention, and you can, for example, exchange knowledge, experience, or learn something new, that's a value added to, to, you, to your path. Cherish these people because they are rare. But do not focus on these who cannot keep up because they're just going to slow you down. You can help them out. You just got to keep going. And the people who are really appreciate what you do and will support what you do and understand what you do and who you are will come along. They're probably going to be strong. It's like my wife, you know, she's really strong. She's a powerhouse. She had a tough life. She's tough. Not many people can survive that. She did. And that's why she's tough. And that's why we're together. So people like that, they're rare, but they are there and they will come along. So just focus on these type of people, right? Do not go against your passion, okay? So if you want to be successful, you need to follow your passion. It's really important. But do go against your lazy mind. So if you want to do something and it's really difficult, your passion will tell you, fucking hell, let's do it. And your mind's going to tell you, dude, come on, I'm chilling. Kick that mind up its ass, yeah? It's supposed to work for you, not the other way around. It's your mind, yeah? You own it, get it working. Do what you really think fits your personality and skills, but if your mind gets in the way, tell it to shut the hell up and get to work. So you're responsible for your own development, right? You do it for yourself, not for others. Remember that. So do not waste your time on waiting for approval, creating, you know, creating things that appeal to others. It's just a byproduct, not a goal. You're not working for others, you're working for your goal. So if whatever you create, other people enjoy, that's great. Like tutorials, you know, we create them with Josh for to help others, right? Because we want other people to help them on the way to their goal. Because if someone is out there, and needs you know needs help because they want to learn shit yeah i'm gonna help them because i respect that but i i do not create these to please people right i create them to help people that's different and if people do not approve whatever you do this means they're not ready for you know uh, for what you're doing or just not worth your time or energy in fact it makes them selfish because they cannot simply appreciate that someone is different or moves faster. They're just jealous or selfish. Stay true to yourself because there's no way you can lie to yourself. And remember, you're in it alone. So who else are you talking to? Only yourself. Now, only because you're in it alone doesn't mean that you are uh, in for it alone, which means you're not doing it only for yourself. Right? Your goal is your only priority and that's your problem. The byproduct of whatever you do could help others. A strong doesn't mean selfish, although many people may see it that way because you sacrifice relationships with people for your goal. I have no social life. I, I couldn't give a fucking rat's ass about social life. What am I going to do? T small talk to people? What are you really gaining from talking to other people? Most of them, not everyone, but most of them. Talk to these from whom you can learn. Talk to these who can inspire you. Talk to these who are better than you. Because that's how you grow. Don't waste your time on boasting, telling people what you've done, making them envy you or whatever the hell. It's just, it's a waste of time and energy. You could do something much more productive with that time. Since the goal is not materialistic, right? Be because it's a self-improvement. Now, if people do not approve this, it means they're not worth your energy. Now, Rest is important because, you know, we are human beings, not robots, so we need the rest. So you need to rest the same way you work. Rest hard. Don't fuck about with it. You want to reset? Go 100 or 200% in. Reset and come back. Your rest ethic should be the same as work ethic, right? Do it 100% and don't do it at all. I'm mocking about, you know, is a nice window display, but it won't make you better. 
So when you rest, focus on resting. Really reset 100%. Doing a bit of this and a bit of that will never get you there, okay? Focus. That's the key to succeeding. Now, if you get to that level, or at least try to get to that level, you'll be getting closer to the success because succeeding is focus. Razor sharp focus. Not talking about it, doing it. I tell you another story before I uh, before I end this video. When I started studying calligraphy um, in Japan, um, I also at some point because calligraphy took me like sixteen years of studies, right? But at some point I picked up photography too. I was doing three things at the same time. I was working at night, studying calligraphy, and doing photography in the daytime. It was tough. There was a few times when I actually was on a train, I had to get out of the train and lay on the benches because I just was passing out, because too tired, you know. I was working all night and then going um, uh, to see my teacher, calligraphy teacher, which is like, you know, an hour, an hour ride on the train one way. So I didn't sleep. You know, it's easy when you're 20, but I wasn't 20. I'm 45 now, so it was pretty tough, yeah. And, you know, I managed to get to a master level in calligraphy. I mean, my works were displayed in National Galleries in Tokyo. Won multiple contests, you know, uh, national contests. And I can officially teach in Japan. I published a few books on Japanese uh, language, etymology of Jap uh, Chinese color characters. And at the same time, I managed to build a photography career as a portrait photographer in Tokyo, right? So, it's possible. It's just tough. But, hey, easy doesn't get you there. Tough does. Again, fuck the excuses, yeah? They don't exist. If if you start making excuses, right, you just you're not you're not ready yet. There are no excuses. You only look for solutions. Because getting 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 on with the excuses just simply wastes your time. And the last thing I wanna tell you is how you define success, right? Success is um uh, don't define it materialistically all the time, okay? Because, you, again, if you focus on the money aspect, you will lose the whole spectrum of view that is so much more important. Money should be a byproduct of whatever you do, right? You should find fun in whatever your passion tells you to do. So if it's art, it's art. If it's, uh, you know, fishing, it's fishing. Whatever the hell you do, it's, uh, it's your passion, and, and the money is just a byproduct. And the more you are focused on getting good at what you do, the more money you're gonna make. And that's how you succeed in whatever you do. And that also comes to 3D. I was watching a, a, a video interview with uh, Vitaly Bulgarov once, and he said something really cool. He said that he was taking sabbaticals from his work, living off the savings to work harder, to study. So he wasn't taking vacations, he was taking off from work to work harder, studying 12, 16 hours a day, every day. Do you think I have days off? I don't. I don't need them, because I love what I'm doing. I can, I can do 3D 12, 16 hours a day, no problem. I wouldn't have it any other way, because whatever I'm focused on, I'm focused 150%. The reason why I stopped doing martial arts, for example, were two. It was twofold, right? One of them was I had injuries to my knees over training. And two, I simply didn't have time to train every day. I either do it properly or I don't do it at all because it's wasting my time. Let me give you a practical example of how I roll. This is my website. It used to be a service menu in here, which I removed recently. So 16 years of calligraphy and eight years of working as a photographer, professional portrait photographer. The services are gone. Portrait photography, calligraphy, tattoo designs, body art, body art photography, nudes, all this stuff is gone. I don't do it anymore. I'm, I decline shoots at the moment because I do not go back. That knowledge I gained during these years gave me a fantastic foundation for understanding composition, uh, design, and also lighting, etc. Right? But this is not what I do now. Now I do 3D and 3D only. Okay? 
I even removed the services from my main website. It's just, you know, 3D courses at the moment and used to be services, right? The only thing that remains from from the old days is actually my portfolio when when the entire work is, is kept. So portraits, you know, uh, nudes, architecture, you know, landscapes and, and calligraphy and all that stuff. But that's the only thing that's left. That's my work, so I keep it there as my portfolio. But again, the, the, the service is gone. All you can see now is just 3D courses because, you know, that's what we do now with Josh. So my focus is 100%, you know, uh, courses, design, concepting and uh, game art. And that's all I'm going to do. And that's how you need to wire your brain. Otherwise, it's going to take a much longer to, to switch between things, okay? You know, when I was learning Japanese language, I've learned how to read, write and speak in Japanese. And that th it's like learning three languages in one. Japanese is a very peculiar language. You can speak, but you can't read. You can read, but you don't know how to write it. Or you can write it, but you don't know how to say it or read it. It's, it's really uh, messes up with your mind. It took me one and a half year to master it because I focused. So anything you do, the key is to liking it and focusing on it. Uh, only two things you need for success. Talent is a very small percentage of it. It's important, but if you are talented in a specific field, you should work harder, not not less, harder, because then you can get there faster, right? Hope it makes sense. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something cool. And I wish you all the best on your way to success. And I catch you in the next video.